Hi, my name is Tom Lettamp, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Springboard Key Stage 3 Science Resources and a different way that we can use them in our teaching practice. What I'm going to be focusing on today is a method of printing off some of the slides and annotating them under a visualizer, and I'm just going to go through how I would do that. I think in reality, we, I would probably use lots of the different techniques from the different videos in conjunction with one another to make my explanations as clear as possible. But for this one, I'm just going to use entirely printed out slides. I'm looking at the um, fifth physics unit of sound, and this is the very start of that unit. So how I would start in my planning and my preparation for the lesson is I would look through the knowledge book first of all, which is what you can see on the screen. And I think an important thing to emphasize here with the knowledge book is the questions and answers here, as well as the core diagrams, are to act as a summary of what the students are gonna learn. I want students to get to the point of being able to answer these questions by themselves, and I guess in the ideal scenario, um, by the end of the explanations that I give, I'd like to be able to ask them what is an oscillation, and they all give an answer that is very similar to the answer shown on the screen. They won't all be exactly identical, and that's, a, that's perfectly fine, because I want them to have developed that understanding for themselves, um, but this then acts as a summary of that understanding and something they can go and check back on and ensure that they've got the correct ideas. So I'd go through these just to check that my explanations were all pointing in the direction of these core questions and that the wordings match these core questions. I would then go through the teacher book for the start of this unit um, to work out how I was going to explain um, the, the first few ideas. So you can see um, the start of the teacher book gives you a bit of an introduction to what we'll be learning throughout the unit. And we then got a um, an example of the knowledge check and the answers you might give along with the notes and i'll talk through that in a second and then we have the individual explanations and i would go through these beforehand work out exactly what i was going to be saying and tailor my explanation to my class that i know i'll have so i'll show you now exactly what i think that would look like I'd start with the knowledge check and in this case because I've got printed slides what I would do is I would just cover up some of the questions going one question at a time ensuring that students had adequate answers and if anything I didn't feel the, the class were in the right place um, and didn't have the right answers I would reteach some of these ideas so I'd go through these one at a time personally I'd probably use many whiteboards for these but you might use turn and talk or cold call or any other methods of gaining the whole class's understanding and I'd work through these just to make sure that the class understood everything they needed to that was prerequisite for this unit. Um, and you can see some of them are you know, standard physics questions, some of them involve doing calculations, and some of these, like the drawing parallel and perpendicular lines, we're just introducing other bits of knowledge that we need them to have for this unit. Um, okay. Then I would start my explanation, provided they were in the right place to, to receive it. You can see straight away that I've pre-drawn out just tiny bits of my explanation um, just to make the flow of information a little bit easier. And, and this is what I would explain to students. In front of you, we've got a speaker. And we know that if I turn on a speaker, it's going to give out or emit some sound. When we play the music from a speaker, we can hear it even when we're really far away. That's meant to be an ear. And the reason that we can hear it is in the gap between the speaker and our ear, there is a big transfer of energy. So a speaker transfers energy to our ear. I might at this point get the class to do some call and response along those lines. So sound is a transfer of energy. Equally, if we look at a screen, this is meant to be a picture of a screen, we know that it emits or gives out light. And it means that we can see a screen even when we're really far away from it. That's meant to be an eye. And in a very similar way to the speaker transferring energy to our ear through sound, the screen is also transferring energy. This time it's transferring energy to our eye as light. So in these two examples, what we see is that sound and light 
they both transfer energy. The reason that sound and light transfer energy is that they are both examples of waves. And waves have the property of transferring energy. That is all that waves do. At this point, I would then do a check for understanding with the class of that small chunk of the information. So all of the check for understanding slides have a diagram just that will sometimes give students a bit of a hint or just help you if you need to explain anything again. Um, so I would ask things like, give me some examples of waves. What do waves do? Um, and just ensuring that their language is the same as what we've just discussed, that they're talking about transferring energy, that they know that sound and light are waves. From here, if I was happy that they'd understood that, I would then move on to the next part of my explanation. And you can see this is an example of a slide that has a pre-drawn bit of the diagram. And this part of the explanation goes as follows. So we've said that sound is a wave that is transferring energy. Now we might think that the reason that energy gets from here all the way over to here is that the particles in the air are transferring that energy themselves. So all of these little dots are meant to represent particles and we could imagine that these particles pick up the energy from the speaker and take it to our ear. This is not correct. The reason this isn't correct is that if this were the case, if particles were transferring energy, then me over here with my ear, I would feel this breeze of particles. I would feel all of these particles hitting my ear like a wind, and I do not feel that. So we know that a wave does not transfer particles. Another way that we can look at this is we can imagine if I take my speaker and I put it the other side of a wall, you all know that you can hear a speaker through a wall. Sometimes we can hear the class next door, even though there's a wall between us. It's pretty clear that particles, the particles in the air on this side of the wall, could not transfer the energy through the wall itself and to our ear. If particles were transferring the energy, I wouldn't be able to hear the sound at all. So sound must transfer energy from here to here, because I can definitely hear things through a wall without transferring particles. It manages to go through the gas on this side, but then the solid and then the gas on this side without particles having to move from here to here. Energy goes this way, but particles do not transfer across this gap. This explanation then continues a little bit further, but I'm just going to stop it there. There'll be another check for understanding. And once I'm happy that they've got to the point of understanding all of these key ideas, I then set them up in some practice. And here what I might do is then carefully curate the practice that they have, pick out specific questions that I want them to do first. Um, and that what I would have done in the planning for my lesson to begin with. OK, so I've just taken the specific questions that I think are the most vital for the class that I have so that they can consolidate the right things from explanation. So I'm hoping that that has been a useful thing for you today, just to get an idea of how we can use the Springboard Key Stage 3 resources as printed slides as one other methodology in our teaching. Thank you very much.